What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys. Hope everybody's having an awesome morning, even afternoon, night, whenever it is that you're watching this video, guys. Oh, what a day. I've been busy moving uh, for most of the day. I'm tired, boss. And I'm mostly tired because I stayed up to freaking two something in the morning, streaming for 10 hours. This amazing game of college football, 25, well worth the wait but this video isn't about that what this video is about is a warning to anybody who has yet to get this game and to those who are maybe having trouble in the game now me personally I'm, i've been playing my rebuild on i've been playing it on all american difficulty you know because those thus it, it's challenging for me i like it it, it, to me, Heisman makes you play a perfect game, if you will. Okay. And if y'all tuned into the live stream last night, first of all, you saw me got handled by my son in the first game in the little exhibition match. But the controls were very, very different for me. I am used to, I will say this if you're used to Madden, uh, you're going to have to learn. You're going to have to relearn the game. Like, you can't go into this game with the knowledge of Madden controls, of even NCAA 14 controls. This game feels and plays drastically different. I, I, and, I, and I think that's an understatement. It doesn't feel like any football game that we've played. No longer can you just run all willy-nilly and dive, you know, those five-yard dives to make a tackle. You can't do that in this game. You, uh, a lot of people were saying defense is bad in the game. Well, not a lot of people. People were saying that, oh, defense is non-existent. Defense is existent. Defense exists. The thing with defense, guys, defense takes a lot of skill. Because, because we have been spoiled by previous football games where you can push the square button and dive five yards and make a tackle. And it's so long as you dive and make contact with the player, the animation kicks in and you make a tackle. That doesn't work in this game. You are going to have to use the strife, the strife button. The, the, it's L2 on PlayStation and left trigger on Xbox. You're going to have to square up to them and make a secure tackle. If you, push, if you sit there and try to make tackles with the square button, you are going to miss so many tackles. The X button is your best friend. L2 and left trigger is your best friend on defense. I've yet to master or even get close to mastering the, the, the stick sh shift button. I, I, I haven't even used it because I am so ingrained in how football games have played for the past 11 years, 20 years, that I keep forgetting that, oh, this, this mechanic exists. You know, I'm used, I'm, I'll put it like this. I'm used to holding circle and moving the, the down button, pushing down on the, on the D-pad to, to, um, to get the ball or to get close to the ball carrier, if you will. Does that make sense? I, that's what I'm used to. And I have yet to break myself from that. If you've watched me playing with the SMU Rebuild, you've seen me struggle. You know, I forget like, OK, we've had weather effects in I want to say they said they have it in Madden. It's been in college football in NCAA 14 where players would slip running routes and stuff like that. And so that's what I was thinking. Oh, you know, we've had that in the game before. No, you haven't. The rain actually affects how you throw the football with the with the new passing meter. I was playing Nevada. It was raining and I couldn't figure out why. My passes were so off target. Number one, my passes were off target because of the rain. Number two, when you're getting pressure, your passing meter is off target. And this was a lasting thing. I played TCU in a very, very close game. Ended up losing and then got blew out by Florida State. And at that point, guys, I made some changes. I made some drastic changes. We changed from the 335 stack to the 425. And oh my God, what a difference. Guys, if you have not already, check out the playbook series on the channel, guys, because this game 
if you are struggling right now in the game, it may be a scheme fit. I was trying to run 3-3-5, and guys, I, I was struggling with it because I didn't have the personnel to run it. The players on the team were not fit for it. And I knew that kind of going in because I'm like, well, these players have been recruited for a certain defense. You know, you hear that. Normally, you could run any, any. You can run any defense in, in, in Madden, and any team can run it. You know, they have the little, oh, this player is a key fit, this and that, but it doesn't, it doesn't affect you that way. This game, it does. If you do not have the personnel for whatever offense or defense you're running, you are going to struggle. You're going to struggle. If your offense is set up for a quick passing game, don't expect to be able to sit there and drop back in the pocket for five steps don't expect to have receivers running uh routes that take longer to develop because your offensive linemen aren't designed to block that long i made some changes on the offensive line all of a sudden now we're passing for three four hundred yards a game and we're blowing teams out your personnel matters and your offensive and defensive linemen i'm telling y'all straight up if you're struggling on defense if you're struggling on offense improve your lineman it is amazing how big a difference it is having a 85 overall player and a 90 overall player it is drastically different like it makes a huge difference i was going against florida state and their defensive line they set up camp in the backfield i went to look at their rosters and it i was like wow no wonder when players are good in this game they're good when they're bad they're bad we played an fcs team and blew them out the game was boring i'm not even gonna lie to you and then we play tcu and it's a nail biter you know florida state's a blowout you know then we play stanford and we play louisville and it's blowouts we played duke it was a blowout because i started learning how to play the game because i realized hey i need to change to a 425 instead of a 335 stat it, that 335 hey it worked against the fcs team it really worked against Nevada, too. We just throw a lot of interceptions in that game. But my point is this, guys. This is a very realistic game. Is it real life, real life? No, it's not. But this is the most realistic football game I have ever seen and played in my life. And if you want to succeed and do good in this game, you're going to need to approach it from a real life standpoint. Okay. Defense is a learning curve. It always is in every football game because the offense seems to excel. But there are answers defensively for everything that's done offensively. You just have to find it. Okay. You just have to find it. I'm really, really enjoying this game, y'all. I am really. I know I don't sound excited because I'm tired. But, guys, we own to something. Now, some things I wish that they would add is mass substitutions. I was looking at what y'all said on Twitter and they was like, oh, in the fourth quarter, if you're blowing a team out, they'll sub in the first team or sub out the first team. I don't want I don't mind that. But if I'm blowing a team out in the third quarter, I want to go ahead and be able to mass substitution. Or even if it's the end of the fourth and we're up by like three scores or two scores, I, I still want that ability. Plus, it's been in previous college football games. So hopefully that's a gameplay feature that they will add in the future because i know there are still gameplay elements and stuff that they're going to be adding at a later time team builder also is coming on the 19th uh the deep dive for it i would have thought would have been today maybe it's tomorrow i don't know when the deep dive is for team builder it, heck they may release it with team builder on friday i'm not sure one thing is for certain this game is amazing does it have its flaws? Yes, it's got flaws here and there. What game does it? But honestly, when you are in the thick of a football game, you are not thinking about flaws. One thing that I mentioned on stream, and I mean that, is, you know, there was never a play that computer made against me, that the AI made against me, where I was like, oh, man, the game messing up. That's the game tripping. No, every play was very merited. It was warranted. And that was so fun. And it, myself, including people in the stream, literally was like, bro, this is as good as watching an actual college football game. Dude, we got a special one here, y'all. 
Uh, excuse the lack of content. I am moving, guys. Should be set up to go later this week, man. This, just be ready. Okay, just be ready. The content is coming. The playbook series. All of that stuff is coming, so please be patient with me in that regard. All right? And, man, subscribe to the channel. Don't be a point, Dexter. Get out the portal. Become a five-star. Y'all know the deal. Finna go get some rest. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section down below. Till next time, thanks for watching. Peace.